Hey guys, Lance Smith here. I'm at Nissan Stadium. It's day one of the Tennessee Titans search for the new public address announcer. And we've got 11 hopefuls all ready to go from all walks of life. I'm talking about professional public address announcers to TV hosts to just fans that really want the gig because let's face it, this is a cool gig. So right now let's get that mic hot and let's see who's got what it takes. Evans returns it to the 26 yard line. First and 10 Titans. It's third down. Complete to number 11, AJ Brown. First down Titans. I'm here now with Stormy Warren, who's about to go inside and audition for this gig. Stormy, how are you? Uh, I couldn't be happier. I mean, this is literally like fantasy camp right now. I'm living out my wildest dreams. Uh, this is, you have no idea. My, my wife thinks I've completely lost my marbles. Uh, my friends are going, well, you haven't been this passionate about something in a long time. What is it about it? And I said, this is the Titans. This is Nashville. This is 30 years I've spent, you know, as representing this city. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Tennessee Titans. Titans fans, it's third down. Yeah, he, he definitely delivered like he was in his element in the booth, the microphone in front of him, so it felt comfortable, it felt natural at the moment. Um, Fun. That's, I mean, that's the first thing I have in here is fun. He was a pro, 100%. He had a very commanding voice. He clearly has done this before. Um, he kind of hit some of the places that we have all been kind of hoping that people will hit. Things like third down, touchdown, that kind of stuff. You know, those big moments where you want people to be excited. That was just an incredible experience. Just hearing the sound of the echoes going through the stadium that you dream about as a four-year-old kid watching your first football game. Here now with Jason Wyrick, who's about to go in there. Jason, you're getting your master's at uh, Knoxville, right? For, yes, sir. What is it, journalism? Journalism and electronic media with a focus in radio. All right, you got the radio voice thing down. I appreciate that. You've been in this world for a little bit though, right? Yeah, um, I've done high school PA. Um, that is the extent of my public address experience, um, but I have been involved in radio um, since 2012. Um, but otherwise, I'm just a kid with a dream, trying to make that dream a reality. Complete to number 11, AJ Brown. First down, Titans. Here now with Dave Joseph, who's about to go in. Dave, how you feeling? I feel good. Yeah? I feel good. It's, uh, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, it's, this is what you do, though. This is what I do. So it's not every day you get to audition for something like this. So for me to be able to come in here uh, with a great organization like the Tennessee Titans, this is fantastic. Hi, fans. I'm Dave Joseph, and I'm auditioning to become the next Titans public address announcer. At wide receiver. Number 11, A.J. Brown. First down, Titans. Gain of 46 to the Lions 25 yard line. Move those chains. I feel good. I feel uh, energized, pumped up, and ready for Titans football. Let's, let's play a game right now. This, this is fun. Coming from a fan's perspective, I normally am more concerned about how are you going to connect with as fans and get involved and be emotional. But watching your performance and listening to you, I have no question for you because <laughs> it literally, I bought in. Hello, I'm Chris Chapman and I'm auditioning to become the next Titans public address announcer. To hear Cold as Ice by Foreigner, Tweak Tune One. To hear 10th Avenue Freeze Out by Bruce Springsteen, Tweak Tune Two. Tackle made by number 31, Kevin Byard. Gain of six on the play. It's third down. Derek Henry, touchdown Titans. The score after three quarters for your Tennessee Titans, 32. The Detroit Lions, 18. Starting at quarterback for your Tennessee Titans from Texas A&M, Brian Tannehill. Chris Freeman, how you feeling? I'm doing great, how are you today? I'm great, I'm great. All right, so you've got the voice, and you, you've got the skill, you've done this, you do this. I mean, you do this at a collegiate level, high school level, pro level maybe? I'm hoping for the opportunity. This is something that's really exciting for me, and you know, I get an opportunity to teach high school kids every day and to be able to inspire them to dream big. This is something I've been hoping for since I was a little boy, like five years old, so this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Tennessee Titans. The give is to Derrick Henry, touchdown Titans. The score after three quarters, 
your Tennessee Titans 32, the Detroit Lions 18. I think he can really bring good energy to, to his delivery. So I, I actually felt some of his moments. So I think that'd be his, that's, I mean, that's a huge trait to have. Here with Chuck Morris from Knoxville. How you doing? Good, Lance. How are you doing today? I'm good. Wow, that's a voice you got on you. Oh, thank you. Get from God. So talk to me about, like, do you do PA announce for UT baseball? I do. I'm the uh, voice of Lindsey Nelson Stadium. So it's a really exciting year this year because we're a really good team. Uh, but I also filled in with some uh, Division I uh, softball, uh, some volleyball, um, some other things like that. I've done high school football for about 12 years okay. and some high school basketball as well. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Tennessee Titans. At left tackle, number 77, Taylor Lewan. At left tackle, number 77, Taylor Lewan. King Henry, touchdown Titans! Let's hear it for your 2021 Tennessee Titans. Hello everyone, I'm Chip Hoback and I'm auditioning to become the next Titans public address announcer. Harold Landry, number 58 with the sack. The head coach of your Tennessee Titans is Mike Vrabel. Let's hear it for your Tennessee Titans. I'm here now with Kevin Kilpatrick. He's about to go in and audition for the public address announcer spot. And you have one of the most interesting backgrounds of everybody trying out for this. I mean, you have a, a theatrical background. You do character voices the whole nine yards. Yeah, I do it all. So do you know what voice you're gonna bring to this? I have an idea. I've been uh, driving down the road in my truck practicing, I've been in the shower practicing, and so I've, I've got an idea of what I want to do, and I hope it sits well and resonates. Uh, my job is to bring excitement to Nissan Stadium, to bring my competitiveness to Nissan Stadium, because I want the Titans to win. Yeah. And whatever it takes to whip the crowd into a frenzy, that's what I want to do. Sack, yes! Harold Landry, number 58 with the sack. It's fourth and 12 from their own 21 yard line. Derek Henry, TD Tennessee, yes! My heart is racing, it's pumping. I've never wanted anything more in my life. His best quality was the excitement he felt with Tennessee Titans and also touchdown. Those are two important parts of the game. So I felt him when he did that and I think, I think the crowd will. I'm now here under the shadow of one, Matt Rogers. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic, Lance. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's good to see you. American Idol season three. Yes. I had more hair back then. Sorry. I know that story. Yes. Uh, then you go on, you go, you host TV shows, but you got a football background. You I do. Won the Rose Bowl as a lineman. I did. For Washington. Yeah, I was 340. This is me skinny right here. <laughs> so you've got this really big resume doing all this fun stuff, but to me, the coolest part is you're a season ticket member. The bad news is if I do get this job, Titans are going to lose their loudest fan. You know, I think being a little scared makes you try harder. Rocky Balboa, Rocky Six. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nissan Stadium as your Tennessee Titans take on the Detroit Lions. Complete to number 11, A.J. Brown. More than enough for a Titans first down. King Henry, touchdown Titans! Matt was intense. He brought an energy that was probably one of the highest energies of the night. Um, deep, raspy voice. Um, I really enjoy it. Dude, honestly, that was one of the funnest things I've ever done. Like, American Idol was cool, but I'm not as passionate about singing as I am about football. And like, this may sound freaking hokey, but there's a couple times I wanted to cry. All right, so that is gonna wrap up day one of the Tennessee Titans search for the new public address announcer. We saw a lot of great talent today, a lot of hype on that mic, but tomorrow is another day with 10 more hopefuls. So it's anybody's game right now. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Until then, tighten up.